Yo, part two of being stupid. All right. <clears throat> I'm like doing it all at the same time, mind you. Literally just put the other video to upload just because I'm in the like mood to do it because I know there's going to be days where I don't want to do anything. So to continue, that's right, everybody. Continuing the homepage. Now, we'll talk about everything else here. Uh, there is your clipboard. Okay, we'll jump right into the video. Here's your clipboard. If you copy something, I'm going to have this open so you can see. If I press, like when I'm selecting anything, right, these options will come up. If I have to copy something, this is when the paste thing will come up. This is very simple. There's literally nothing complicated here. Paste will stay on as many times until you have something that it can't paste or doesn't recognize as a paste option. Cut essentially just deletes something. And duplicate just basically copies it right in the same place. So, yeah. Very simple. Now, to continue, here's the lock tool again. Remember, we used Alt L to use this, and then there's also the unlock all, which is perfect for if you have multiple locked instances for some reason. Uh, but here's the thing. There's a toolbox. Now, there's something I must warn you about. If you use the toolbox, you will probably be clowned. I... I can't really explain why, but for some reason, especially just on Roblox, people hate, they just hate when you use models off of here. Don't know why I legitimately cannot explain why it's so bad, but I'm just, I would like to debate with anybody uh, and everybody. There are, okay, I'm going to explain this real simple, real fast. There's reasons why you shouldn't use the toolbox. Reason being is because a lot of people will upload viruses into these games, okay, into these models, into these whatever. They will upload viruses. And so if you put them in your game, your game is dead, okay? You'll lag, your game will run horribly, your computer will almost explode, you know, everything that everyone dreams of, right? So probably don't use Toolbox unless you really have to or you trust where the, like, thing is coming from. Now, Roblox is trying to make it like make it easier for people because like now it says has scripts. So like if you know it has a script, like there's a potential virus in there. But like trusted developers like me, for example, if you look at the things that I've uploaded, so NYCT free drives. Uh yeah, there's an impersonator for those who saw it. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> but yeah, uh you see, like I have some assets here, and I have the little, you know, creator is ID verified batch. So you know that I'm I'm legit, dog. Come on. I'm totally legit. So if I insert this, you could use any of my models. And if anyone clowns you, tell them to, to pick it up with me, loser. You suck. Yeah. Say something. There's also these here for those any like anyone who wants to use these. Uh free, mind you. Okay. So don't be scared to use them. But if you could build something yourself, try to. If you're lazy, try not to be lazy. If you're still lazy, well. Try to get models off the toolbox and use them proudly. If anyone tells you anything or gives you any smack about it, literally, it doesn't matter, okay? You do your own thing. Only you know how you want your game to be, okay? Perfect. Just remember that there's assets on here for you to use. If you can't script or something and you need a script off the toolbox, don't be scared. Every developer uses the toolbox at least once. Uh, with the toolbox, though, you can get models that other people have published through this little bag here. Or models that you've created yourself. So we have my 188 when it was still being built, uh, which is no longer needed because it's already done. But essentially, all the models you've made, they'll they'll be here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, hey, yeah. So before you guys clown me for this, there's a like a uh, what is it? A sound Transit LRV in this thing that I wanted to see how it was built. So like before you clown me, just making sure that y'all know that. Uh, you can also see recent models that you've used, uh, which in this case would be all of these here, as well as uh, models from your groups. So uh, you can also see some of the models if you made as well. But uh, if you need if you're in a group and you want to see some of the models that were uploaded into that group, you can just go through here and you'll see everything. So. Uh, with that in mind. On to the tutorial to continue It's been four minutes, I'm going to die. OK. We shall insert a part. To do this, there's multiple ways. You can press this button, which will insert a part right to the middle of your workspace camera. So you can see right in the middle. 
And there's different types. You can insert spears, wedges, or cylinders. All of them have different properties to them, as you can see. And all of them could be used for CSG, which we will explain in another video. You could essentially use these to build whatever you want. And that's basically how it works. With this, though, there's other ways to insert parts. Uh, if you go to your workspace here, like in the Explorer, you press this little plus, you'll get this drop down menu with everything you can insert. Absolutely everything. There's nothing here that's off limits. So, anything here is free to use, okay? Because it's built into Roblox. So, if somebody clowns you for using a part, you clown them back and say you're dumb, okay? Um, so, you can insert different types of parts too. That's the thing. You can insert different types of wedges that you can't access through here, like a corner wedge part or even a mesh which you can use meshes to give certain parts a different shape. So uh, if I get a special mesh, for example, and I put it into the corner wedge, you see that it's changed the shape, but it's still a corner wedge. Regardless of what you do, it's still always going to be a corner wedge. It's just it looks like this now. There's different mesh options you can choose as well, but that's another video. Now, now that we've gotten the part thing down, there's different materials, which is basically how it looks and different colors, which I should not even have to explain. With that in mind, if I wanted to change the material of this to neon, you can see now it has a glow to it, which is pretty dope. If I want to change it to something like concrete, let's find it. There you go. Now it's essentially a sidewalk. Uh, or, or if I wanted to change the color to something like this, no, that is the wrong color. This, there we go. Now it's the roof of a subway station. So. You know what I mean? It, very simple, uh, but you don't only change the color or material through this menu up here. You can also change it through the properties tab, which is amazing. All in one place. Uh, you can either do brick color, which are basically standard stock options that Roblox gives you for colors. It's pretty bland uh, in a way, but it's very helpful for when you're starting out and you don't really know what you want to do. Uh, there's different colors for everything and any material really except for force field This will look pretty good on because force field has like a weird thing attached to it But yeah uh, And again, like I said material you can change it to brick here make it uh, Like this color and boom now we have a minecraft house <laughs> uh, But yeah now uh, Since we have that down, there's something else that you need to know and it will kill your game if you don't use this accordingly. Uh, there's a feature right here called Anchor. Okay. I'm going to show you what this does. All right. If I move this part all the way up here and I press play, right, or run in this case, which just runs the game. We are not, we're not actually playing it, right? You'll see what happens to this part, right? You can see it falls down. Wow. Amazing, right? Now, what if I don't want it to fall down? Well, simple. You anchor it. That's all you do, literally, and it'll stay stuck right in the same position. See? Perfect. Awesome. Now, before I continue with, like, the video, right, it's worth noting that literally anchor, like, just because something is anchored doesn't mean that it'll stay anchored. And what I mean by that is, say you're using a train, and the train has a weld script. You don't need to know what a weld script does or what it is, but say it has a script, right? That script can command this to unanchor itself, in which case this becomes this all over again. Fall right back down. So be wary of that, especially with things that have scripts in it. Now, that's this done, thankfully. Then there's the group. Uh, this group feature actually is very simple. So say I'm building a house or a building, right? We'll build like a little... A little building here, whatever. It's just all bricks, right? Totally something you'd see in New York City, right? This is this is our building now, right? And let's say that there's like uh, there's a ton of other buildings too that I've made. So if I press F, by the way, F as in F to pay your respects, it'll focus on what you're selecting. So you see F, F. If I duplicate this, Control D, okay, D as in dog, okay. Duplicate it, and I move it somewhere else. Duplicate it again. Move it down here. Here. Oh, look at that. We have NYCHA projects. That's dope. All right. Now, all of these are separate. 
But what if I want to move them all together? Oh, well, you might say, well, can't we just select them all together? You can by holding control or shift and you can select all of them and move them together. Or you can select all of them by clicking and dragging somewhere on like a locked part like the base plate like this or even just selecting them manually as well and grouping it by pressing control G or really just pressing this. And now I can move it all together. See? Woo! And now it's its own thing. Now it's still four separate parts holding alt for this, as you can see. Still four separate parts. But now they're in a model. See? And I can move this model accordingly. All together or all separate if possible. You know, like if I hold alt, now I can move this alone. I can move this alone. But essentially, now it's all together. It's all one thing, one entity. So very good for when you're trying to make a station. Uh, me personally, when I'm building stations, which you will see in the future when I start building, um, you'll see that uh, I like to put my stations all into one model. And so that way, if I need to make a correction in the future, and just to keep it also organized as well, uh, I have that there. You know what I mean? Like I could just move the whole station in one. Don't even got to go and select every little piece, especially when you have like 100, 200, 300 part stations. It, it gets a little weird. You know what I mean? So I put everything in a model makes it easier for me, just like how I put all of this into one model and I can just select anything I want from here, like this Rockaway Park sign and boom. So just to make it easier on yourself, that's what model does. There's also something else which we will talk about in probably train building tutorials or like when I'm making stations called unioning, which we will use a lot in the future. Uh, but for now, models. This is what this does. It essentially just groups everything. And to take things out of a model, you could just press control U, which ungroups it. And when you ungroup something, it'll select everything that's in there. So control G to group, control U to ungroup. There will be similar key binds to this in the future. So make sure that you don't get confused with that when we get to it in the future eventually. Now, these things, we will not talk about this now because this is a whole video in and of itself. Literally just this right here is a, it's its own thing. Uh, let's go into the test function. Now, let's say you built something and you want to test it before you publish the game, right? Easy. This is what this is for. So run will basically just essentially run the game from studio so that if you need to make it a correction or something or check just what's going on in your game, you can play, right? We'll run the game as if you were playing it on the Roblox website and play here. will spawn you wherever your camera is. So if I press right here and I press uh, play here, it'll I'll spawn on top of the building, right? But if I press play, for example, if I press play, it'll spawn me at the spawn location, which is down there. So if I drew play, you can see, I don't spawn on top of the building. I spawn down here. And for some reason, no, full graphics, bro. Come on. So you can see how that works, essentially. The test function also has clients and servers. Here's the thing with this. This runs an entire server on your computer locally, uh, which basically just means it runs it on your computer alone, not, on, not through Roblox servers. It runs it on your computer. If you have a bad computer, or like a really detailed game and you think your computer cannot handle it, do not test the waters with this because this can crash your studio and then you'd lose everything. Okay. Auto save, like the auto save uh, feature for Roblox. It, it doesn't, it doesn't help the same, bro. It's, it doesn't work. It really, it's very different. Okay. So just keep that in mind when doing stuff with that in mind, pretty sure. I, I, that's really everything I have for you or actually just to get this out of the way. There's a magical thing called plugins. This is my plugin. Super dope. I know. Uh, plugins are things that other people like myself make. Uh, well, I have made them, but I haven't given them away, but other people make plugins. Okay. And they help. Okay. For when you're trying to build something. So for example, when I'm making UIs, I use this because this will automatically scale it so that everyone, no matter what screen resolution you have, you can see the UI the same way. This I use uh, sometimes so that I can scale multiple parts at once or rotate a group of, of, of stuff, right? Uh, this is useless. You do not need this. This will, well, you don't even need this anymore, to be honest. Roblox, did the, like they basically replaced this themselves. Uh, 
This you will need because I can scale multiple things at once. So what I mean by that is if I have this off, this is called F3X. I'll try to link it in the description. But uh, okay, if I have one, two, three, right? I, if I try to scale this with Roblox, you see how it makes all of it bigger like that? Usually to do this, you would hold shift and it would lock basically the size and scale it proportionally. But with F3X, I can actually, if I press X to get the move to, or just click this little button right here, I can move this like this. You see? Yeah, totally pog, bro. It's poggers. I know. It's crazy. Anyways, that's what that's used for. And it also, it, it has similar functions to Roblox. So I can rotate, move, scale, paint even, you know, uh, surface tool, which no one ever uses, material tool, which we can just change this. See, now it's a force field. Um, select this part to show other things. Anchor it even, anchored, unanchored. This may be easier for you when you're starting off Roblox, but yeah. The collision tool, I didn't even mention that. Okay. Uh, let me do that now, actually. So collision uh, means that when a player or anything is touching this, they hit this in a way. So like, if I was to play right here, I would land on top of this. But if I have collision off for this, I wouldn't land on top of this. I would go through it and land on the base plate. If that makes sense. So, of course it makes sense. So, come on, bro. And then, finally, before I end this video, there's a thing, a very cool thing called decals. And it's like a picture. I can take this decal off, right? Watch this. You're not ready for this. Get this one. Control C, Control V to copy it. So, I just Control uh, C it, which is copy. I can paste it on there. And look, this is my spawn point now. This is called a decal. I can put this on anything and take it off of anything. Uh, so long as it's not locked, though. That's the thing. If it's locked, then yeah, you got to unlock it. But yeah. All right. Good day. This is the only tutorial I'm doing for today. Don't bully me. Thank you. Goodbye.